Hey, there's some August traditions in Cache Valley, the Cache County Fair and Rodeo. School starting and the game of the week on the Valley Channel. Yeah, three plus decades we've been working at this, bringing you all of the best from the Cache Valley athletes from all the schools. Started out with just a couple and now it's five high schools and lots of state championships in between that time. Tonight we open with the defending state champs in 4A, the Ridgeline Riverhawks who lost a ton of players, but still have some pretty good ones coming back up. It's gonna be interesting to see how they defend their title. A brand new quarterback this year after four years of Caden Cox, Jackson Olson takes over at the helm. He's a heck of an athlete, had a great year last year as a receiver, played quarterback as a sophomore. He'll be running an offense that last year averaged 45 points a game. We'll see if Ridgeline can repeat what they did last year. They start with a tough Bonneville team tonight on the Game of the Week. Wendy's is saying thanks for making the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger America's number one bacon cheeseburger by giving you more of what you love. Introducing Wendy's Giant Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. Double the beef, double the bacon, and now it comes in a giant meal for $5. With nuggets, fries, and a drink. There's absolutely nothing junior about it, except the price. Get Wendy's $5 Giant Junior Bacon Cheeseburger meal before it's gone. with head coach Travis Cox of the Ridgeline Riverhawks. Talked about this team, talked about keeping it going after such an, a huge year last year, an undefeated uh, region season, an undefeated state championship season, and the guys that they lost and how they can keep everything going. And one thing he said is, he said, we don't talk about last year. This is a new year, and what we really want to do is that we want to find our strengths and work with those and find ways to take advantage, utilize and adapt to those strengths. I said, what are those strengths? He said, we've got a good offensive line. Three guys coming back in Alice, Dalkey, and Painter. And a quarterback, he said, that really can be a heck of a ball player. He's a really good athlete, and that's Jackson Olson. He was a receiver last year. Uh, all sorts of receiving yardage, just caught a couple of, uh, or excuse me, ran for a couple of touchdowns on kick returns. And so he can do a lot of things. And he said, we're going to take those guys and put them in position to be successful. Yeah, we averaged 45 points a game last year, he said, and we think we can do pretty well again this year. But what teams don't, people don't talk about is this team's defense. They were number one in 4A on defense as well, only giving up 14 points per game. They have five starters coming back. Owen Monk is going to move from a linebacker spot into a safety spot into about four or five different spots. They love his versatility. He's a Swiss Army knife back there, and they're going to put him in spots to succeed and cause real headaches for the offense. They have an opener tonight against a Bonneville team that really gave them some problems defensively last year. They're very aggressive defensively defensively and give lots of different looks. So this will be a good test for an offense that's trying to retool and trying to move forward after such a big year last year. Nobody really knows what to expect. We're going to find out soon enough on tonight's Game of the Week. Say the word base. Say the word mess. The Game of the Week on the Valley Channel is brought to you by Wendy's of Cache Valley. It's way better than fast food. It's Wendy's. Cache Valley Hearing and Audiology. Bring back what you have been missing. 
Palmer Home Furnishings, our low overhead means higher quality at lower prices. Aspen Dental, get that gorgeous smile you've always wanted. Custom Fence Company, privacy, security, peace of mind. Rich's Cars and Credit, good guys you can trust. Anderson Seed and Garden, growing better gardeners. The Logo Shop, we logo stuff, all kinds of stuff. KSM means music, music is all we do. Factory Pizzeria, we're open late after the game. And the Valley Channel, Cash Valley's TV station for over 30 years. Hello and welcome to the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. I'm Eric Olson with you tonight as we are at Ridgeline, the defending 4A state champions, opening the season tonight against Bonneville. School doesn't even start until the 22nd of August. It's the 12th. Here we are, ready to kick it off in a championship defense season for Ridgeline that may look a lot different then last year, they lose their Mr. Everything quarterback, Caden Cox. He was a four-year starter. He graduates. He takes one of the top rushers in 4A with him, as long as, as well as one of the top receivers in 4A. And then one of the other top receivers in 4A moves over to play quarterback for Ridgeline this year. Number one, Jackson Olson, out there doing the coin toss right now. Will take over the helm. He played quarterback his sophomore year, and that's the position he's played for a long time, all the way up through Little League and everything else. Last year was his first season playing receiver, and all he did was earn himself a D1 scholarship with Utah State University. He returned a handful of kickoffs for touchdowns. He caught double-digit touchdown passes and put up some big numbers, but that whole offense put up big numbers last year, 45 points per game, and beating teams by 30 plus points per game. It was just unreal. He's got some help up front with a good offensive line, three returning starters. And as I was talking with Coach Dave Caressa earlier, he was complimentary of some of the players that they have coming in to, to fill in with players that they lost. He's excited to see what, what these youngsters can do. And Coach Cox told me last night, he said, we've got three good classes that are coming in here and we really think that uh, we're starting something that could go on for a while here at Ridgeline. I mentioned that Ridgeline's the defending 4A champ. Well, the 4A champ has come out of the valley for three straight years, out of the Region 11 for three straight years. The last two years, the champ's been undefeated. Skyview a couple of years ago and then Ridgeline last year beating teams by 31 points per game on their way to that state title game in an undefeated season. One thing that'll be a little bit different this year with Olsen at quarterback, the QB run and threat to run will be something that we haven't seen here with Caden Cox at the helm. He was a passing quarterback. He could run, but they wanted him to throw. His arm was magic. They want to spread the defense out. They've got good receivers. They've got tall receivers, and the ones that aren't tall are pretty athletic, so it's a pretty good mix. So we'll see what they can do against a Bonneville team that's got some pretty good size. And a Bonneville team that has is known for their aggressive defense and their multiple looks. You can hear the wind blowing, I'm sure, through our mics as a thunderstorm is working its way along the mountains to the east of us here. We're right below Providence Canyon, Millville Canyon to the north of us. And one of those August monsoon thunderstorms kind of working its way here. That could play a factor in tonight's game. The wind wouldn't last the whole game, but the lightning could be a problem. If they have lightning, they will shut the game down until that threat goes away. Bonneville's going to kick off, so Ridgeline's offense will get a chance to get out there and stretch their legs first. This one's gonna make it to the end zone. No chance at a return for Ashton McFarland. And here comes that Ridgeline offense, led by number one, Jackson Olson. He's six foot four. 
He ran track for the first time last year. All he did was break the school record in the high jump. And he turned in an 11 second 100 meter dash, which in the end was enough to get these colleges to really stand up and take some notice. They knew he could catch the ball. They wanted to know how he could run. And Olsen's gonna fake the give on the first play. Looking to get to the end and he's caught before he gets to the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of five. Case Wayman stays home and shuts off the edge. Actually, I think Wayman scraped down from a from a defensive tackle spot. And now an official's timeout. Now we're about ready to go. Ripstein in the backfield with four receivers for Olsen. Olsen's gonna give this time. Ripstein's got some running room. He picks up the lost yardage. In fact, that was White who picked up the lost yardage and then some. He picks up about seven. JT White on the run. And JT White, the sophomore, puts Ridgeline in a third and eight situation. See if we see Olsen's arm here. He can throw the ball. He's not just a running quarterback. And they look outside. Number 11's a familiar number for Ridgeline, but it's not Strat Simmons, it's Graham Livingston this year. He's a yard short of the first down. Let's see what they do on fourth and one. Ridgeline moving into the wind. Criddle, your lone receiver to this side, and they've loaded up in the backfield. And they're gonna hand it off. Looking for that first down marker, and he may have it. It depends on the spot. Defense says no, offense says yet. Yeah. So Ripstein's right at the 30. And the officials say he's got it on fourth down. That's a rich line. Travis down. Cox. And Jeremy Livingston. Don't even hesitate. Actually, it's Livingston. He's the offensive coordinator. Head coach Travis Cox calls the D. Olsen swings it out. He's got Murdoch. Murdoch slips a tackle. Heading down the sideline out near the 45 yard line. He's got a pickup of 14 where they finally blow it dead. That's McFarlane. I said Murdoch, it's McFarlane, and he picks up 14. And here we go again. Olsen throws this one a little high. Good grab out there by Carson Cox. He used every bit of his height to pick up five yards. Ridgeline on the move near midfield. Olsen's gonna throw it out. Grabbed and brought in by Mason Griddle. Griddle picks up eight. And Olsen starts the game putting the ball in the air. We heard all about the run, but he's three for three for 28, 29 yards. Now they put the ball on the ground again. Ripstein picks up a yard. Second and nine. And the Riverhawks in Bonneville territory. We've just started this game. It's the first possession for either team. The ball on the 42, and Olsen has to get out of the pocket. Looking downfield, and now he tosses it and throws a pick. Should have kept it. We got a flag in the backfield. And let's see. Olsen tried to flip it out 
tried to flip it out to the sideline to a receiver there, and he probably should have just kept it. He did not see the defensive back. But if it's a penalty on Bonneville, then it's going to save Olsen's bacon. Personal foul, roughing the passer. So not only did he save his bacon, he puts it on a sandwich with some mayo, a tomato, and lettuce. And they're going to march off 15 yards. And they're going to be inside the Bonneville 30-yard line with 8.59 to play in the first quarter. First penalty of the game. And it's a tough one for the Lakers as they had come up with the pick. And we're going to be heading the other way. Instead, it's a 15-yard penalty, and Olsen and the River Hawks are at it again. Big hit out there. We've seen Case Wayman. He's been a problem early here for Ridgeline. That's a loss of two. So Ridgeline hasn't been able to run the football. If you look at that Bonneville defense, they've got everybody within six yards of the line of scrimmage. They're looking for a run. Olsen steps up, looking downfield. He's got trouble, gets rid of it, has a man on the sideline, and is caught by McFarlane. And he picks up two. Boy, and Coach Cox is not happy about something. He thinks that, he thinks that the receiver was a receiver downfield was interfered with. Third and 10. 750 on the clock in the first quarter, no score. Olsen with a four-man rush, and they remove the pocket. Looks underneath and he one-hops it. He had a man right at the sticks. Carson Cox was there, and Olsen just didn't get his shoulder, was unable to get his shoulder and hips around, and he put it in the dirt right in front of him. So with a pretty stiff wind blowing in Richline's face on fourth down and 10 on the 29 yard line of Bonneville, the Riverhawks are just gonna go for it. Tight splits for Ridgeline. Three receivers. And Bonneville looks like they may be offsides. So instead of fourth and 10, it may be fourth and five. Let's see if that's the case. And it is. So two penalties against Bonneville in this drive, helping Ridgeline out. Won a 15-yard roughing the passer that really helped him out, took away an interception. Cox to this side, two receivers to the far side. Criddle's one of them. They're going to fake the give, and right up the middle goes Olsen. Flag coming in. We probably got a hold on Alice right at the line of scrimmage. Olsen has the first down. As he picks up close to 10 yards, they open a big hole, but they threw a flag right at 55, Alice. And it looks like it's gonna go against Ridgeline. So on fourth and five, a pickup of 10, wiped out by the penalty. And now Bonneville on the receiving end of a fortuitous penalty. Three penalties here in the first five minutes of this ball game. Bonneville's offsides again. And they're going to call it offsides. I can hear a Bonneville coach up here near me that's saying, hey, you know, somebody on the offense is moving, so and if you're an offense, if you're offense, especially in alignment, you got to hold still. If you flinch, then the penalty's on the offense. So this one's on the defense. It's fourth down and nine. Cox to this side, Criddle to the far side. Two wide receivers, a couple of tight ends, and a halfback. Olsen's going to swing it out. That's a backwards pass. They're going to have to get on it. 
Doesn't matter, it would have been turned over on downs. Ashton McFarland just kind of jogged after it. If he would have got out there and picked it up, he could have advanced it. But instead, it's a turnover. And it would have been a turnover anyway as on downs. So Bonneville's offense will come on out and the Ridgeline defense was number one last year. 15, 14.4 points per game given up. The guy to watch for on the Ridgeline defense is number 10, Owen Monk. He's playing safety, he was a linebacker last year. Johnson the quarterback and a couple of Havili's in the backfield. And they're gonna give it to one of those Havili's. He's six feet tall and he's built like a truck. He picks up 12 yards and there's a flag in the backfield. That was Simi Havili. There's Fonga Havili, 32, and Simi Havili. I was watching that kid in warm-ups. We might just call him semi Levine. He's like a semi-truck. And it ends up being a holding call on Bonneville. That's four penalties on Bonneville here in the first quarter. 7.26 to play. And Tafunga Havili in the backfield now with Johnson. Another flag. What? See if Rid may, Ridgeline may have been off sides on this one. Ball star. Oh, they call it on Bonneville. Goodness. These are the things you work out early in the season. Johnson gets out of the pocket. Looking downfield, now he tucks it and runs. He's hauled down. After a short gain, Johnson picking up about four yards. White there to bring him down. And it's second down and 21. Three-man line for Ridgeline. Now they bring somebody up on the end. Johnson's got a seam. Johnson into the secondary and picks up pretty good yardage. It's gonna be third down and 12 after a pickup of nine. David Gore on the tackle for Ridgeline. Johnson, a solidly built quarterback as well. 5'11 junior with Fonga Havili in the backfield with him. Havili, 6-1. Now they switch Havili to the other side. Four wide receivers, three to the top of your screen. Here comes some pressure. They're gonna loft it out there. Man wide open, running down the sideline, and Johnson misses him, and 15 may have pulled a hamstring. Max Diaz came up kinda lame, and he was putting his hand back and limping a little. Now he's running fine back to the huddle. Ian Daly on coverage for Ridgeline. Johnson had him, and he just put too much on it. And he has a pretty good win behind him. And that might have helped Chase carry that Jones. thing. Ready to return the hunt. So Bonneville will kick it away. Low kick. Trayston Stokes is gonna get away from it and that thing's gonna roll down near the 10 yard line, about the 12. And a flag back at the 33 yard line. And there have been a lot of flags already in this ball game. And the, and the penalties on Bonneville, let's see. No, they put it into Bonneville. Now yeah, maybe, now they point the other way. Who's it on? He pointed one way, then he pointed the other way. Okay, they're calling it on Ridgeline because they're backing that punt up to the six yard line. So the Ridgeline offense moved downfield, got it inside the 30 yard line before turning it over on their first possession. 
They started at their own 20. Now they're going to start at their six yard line. At the snack stand, but also the booster club. Bonneville was playing. In the, on that first possession, Bonneville was playing guys up in the box. They weren't really worried about much downfield, it didn't look like. And those linebackers are all, those linebackers are all within five yards of the line of scrimmage. Olsen's gonna roll this side. Looking, unloads back across the field. He had two receivers right next to each other, somebody has to adjust their route as Knighton, the tight end, was right there with Carson Cox, the wide receiver. And Olsen with his first incomplete pass. The one on fourth down earlier wasn't a pass. That was a backwards lateral because it went behind the line of scrimmage. Three down lineman. Here's Olsen looking for an opening, he's got one. Spins out of trouble, look out! Olsen spins out of a tackle and it's a foot race. 30, 20, 10, housing it is Olsen, touchdown Ridgeline. <laughs> 94 yards, there's a flag back at the 25. Ridgeline's whole sideline was out on the out on the field as Olsen headed into the end zone. 94 yards and spinning out of a tackle, and you can see why they think they've got a player in Jackson Olsen. Sideline warning: touchdown's good. And you saw that 11 flat 100 meter dash speed on Olsen too. He doesn't look that fast because he's, he's like a giraffe running out there. He's so tall, but he strides and he's deceptively fast. PAT is up and good. Seven nothing with 5.31 to play in the first quarter here at Ridgeline. Ridgeline on top on the game of the week. Again, kicking for Ridgeline. If you look up, Millville Canyon, there's a rainbow. Exciting Ridgeline football. We've had a lot of great sponsors over the years at the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. One of them has been with us for a long time. That's the Logo Shop. They'll logo anything that you have, make it look great. You name it, they logo it. The Logo Shop, we logo stuff, all kinds of stuff. Well, things looking a little stormy early for Ridgeline, and the rainbow comes out as Jackson Olsen spins out of a couple of tackles and goes the distance, 94 yards for the touchdown, and with 5.31 to play, Ridgeline scores their first touchdown of the year. Into the win, this one's gonna die at the one, picked up there, and a returnable ball. Look out! Good return by Ashton Archuleta, out to the 41 yard line, and the Bonneville offense We'll have some room to work with. Diego Vasquez kicking for Ridgeline. Simi Havili, number 10, out there with Johnson. Again, a four wide receiver set, three to the top of your screen, one to the near sideline. The boundary side, they call it, on the short side of the field. Creeping up his ridge line. They give it to Havili. Havili met at the line of scrimmage, still picks up a couple of yards. As Havili, a powerful runner. Showing that early. He had a good run, his first touch of the game, and it got called back 
for a hold. Havili six feet tall. And now he will motion out to the near side. They want those linebackers to come up and it is a quarterback run. He takes a wall up, does Johnson, after he picks up, and he picks up Derek a couple of yards. Gassaway Derek Gassaway, the junior linebacker, comes up to make the hit. And it's third down and five. The wind dying down now here in Millville. See if Ridgeline brings some heat. They're looking at Johnson off the edge. Look out, Johnson trying to pick up yardage. Gassaway there to stand him up as a couple of other linemen had a hold of him. Johnson got back to the line of scrimmage. On the tackle, Derek Gassaway perhaps leading the tackle for Ridgeline. Getting up off the Jackson bottom of that pile was Gore, Gore the junior linebacker with the long hair. Stokes back to receive what looks like a punt from Bonneville. 340 to play in the first quarter at 7-0 Ridgeline. See if Ridgeline comes after this punt. They've got guys up. High kick. Look out. And it kicks to the near sideline, right about the 20-yard line, where it's downed by Hunter Davis. And Ridgeline leading 7-0 will take over at their own 20. Other Region 11 games, Morgan is at Bear River. Salem Hills at Skyview out there in Smithfield. Mountain Crest clear down in St. George at Hurricane. And Green Canyon down south as well at Crimson Cliffs. Green Canyon picked by the coaches in Region 11 to be the Region 11 champ. As there are a lot of question marks surrounding this Ridgeline team with all the players they lost. I think it's going to be a good region this year. They're building something out of Logan. Skyview is always right there. And new staff at Mountain Crest. Going up top is Olsen and it's picked. It hung out there and the safety came over and said, give me that. Mason Tanner. That safety wasn't fooled a bit. He took off for that sideline. They were, you, you want to try to hold that safety, right? He didn't hold it all. He took off. There was nobody here, nothing holding him. And they'll go back and look at that play. We'll ridge line and see what could be a little different. Maybe it was a, maybe the read, maybe something else broke down. Isn't football fun though? So now on, their, on the opponent's side of the field, a little bit of trickeration by Bonneville. Looking for the edge is Isaac Manseray, and Manseray runs a long way for about four yards. Trying to take advantage of a very aggressive ridgeline defense. You know, that's the kind of play that you know you get a team really pursuing hard one direction, and you get somebody going the other direction, you can break one, but at the very least, maybe they, they hope that maybe it slows down that pursuit. Havili makes it an empty backfield. See if they throw a little screen. No, they show it, but Johnson's gonna keep it, and he's gonna pick up the first down. Quarterback keeper. Eight yards. For Johnson. Johnson five carries, 23 yards. Derek Gassaway and Owen Monk helping and with the Bonneville. For Ridgeline. Looking for the red zone here as they're on the 29 yard line of Ridgeline, looking to tie it up. Both Havili's in the backfield. Johnson working with two receivers. He's going to keep, and they're just going to play smash mouth football. And it pays off with an eight yard run. Uh, 
don't know, Bonneville's pretty big up front. Defensively, Travis Cox told me, he said, we're going to be bigger this year than we were last year. And you'll notice that. And they do look bigger. But they're playing with three down linemen. And And Bonneville's just looking like they're going to start playing smash mouth football. Havili cuts back inside, finds a lane, and he's got a first down. Down to the 15 yard line. Jake Ellis on the tackle for Ridgeline. So Bonneville in business. At the 15-yard line at Ridgeline, looking to tie this thing up with 1.10 to play in the first quarter at 7-0 Ridgeline after a 94-yard touchdown run by Ridgeline's quarterback, Jackson Olson. And now Bonneville knocking on the door. Johnson's going to keep right up the middle. Boy, they are getting a push. He's down to the 5-yard line. So on this possession, Bonneville has just gone back to basic football and said, that's fine. We're going to line up and we're going to have our horses push against your horses. And right now, those Bonneville horses are pushing Ridgeline back to the tune of seven, eight yards of carry. Ball on the five yard line, first and goal. Johnson slips down or he might have had a touchdown. He had the edge. And he gained a yard before he slipped down. He's got eight carries for 42 yards. This after the turnover. I don't know that Bonneville's going to snap it again. There's eight seconds left in the first quarter, and Bonneville will go to the sideline, as will Ridgeline. And we'll take a timeout. 7 0 Ridgeline leads Bonneville at the end of one. Raise your babies for the Simba moment. Brought to you by Primary Care Pediatrics. One lucky fan will be chosen to win $20 at the concession stand. Help us out, everybody. Put your hands up. Hold in your Simba baby. We head to the second quarter here at Ridgeline. It's second and goal from the four yard line. Johnson looking to keep. Picks up another yard down to the three. It's gonna be third and goal at the three. That one they had a lot of motion trying to freeze that defense. Get them looking the wrong way and it took a long time to develop and I think it ended up to the benefit of the River Hawks. Third and goal, just inside the four yard line. Seven nothing ridge line. So we've just started the second quarter. Motion for Bonneville, see if they move up in behind there. They've overloaded that side. Easy touchdown run for Johnson. Three yards and a cloud of dust and six points comes with it. Touchdown. So the run game defensively. Last year was a little bit of a concern for Ridgeline. They ended up having such a powerful offense, it didn't really matter. 
teams just couldn't settle down and run. And they really were hoping that they could get that fixed this year. But on that particular drive, Bonneville did whatever they wanted. Kick, though, no good. And Ridgeline stays on top. It's 7 6 at Millville. Ridgeline leading Bonneville back up. KSM Music is one of our sponsors. Music is all they do at KSM Music. You won't go in there and find all sorts of other peripheral stuff. It's music. KSM means music. It's in their name. Old Grist Mill, another one of our sponsors. Old Grist Mill, the place to go. If you, you know what? It's one of our family traditions to head up to Bear Lake every summer and stop at the Old Grist Mill on the way up to get the trip started. We always kick off the fun with Old Grist Mill. 7-6 after the missed PAT by Bonneville. Bonneville will be kicking into the wind that's picked up again. Levi Olson with 21 for Bonneville. Teeing it up. That one's returnable. McFarlane at the 10. McFarlane's got a lane as it cuts outside. McFarlane hesitates because that lane closed up. And he takes it out to the 39. And the Ridgeline offense will come out nursing a one-point lead. I'm still looking at that rainbow over Millville Canyon. It came out with 5.31 to play in the first quarter. And it is still there. That's the longest lasting rainbow I've ever seen in my life. It's in the same place. Jackson Olsen, quarterback. Dalkey set to snap to Olsen. One running back in the backfield with him, and he's going to give it off. And a loss of a yard. That was Ripstein. So it's second and 11. Ridgeline started the game with a run as Olsen tried to get the edge and he was dropped for a loss. And the run game just hasn't been there for him other than, you know, a 94-yard run by the quarterback for a touchdown. Here's a throw to Cox. Cox hauls it in immediately, hit and taken down. Caught by Carson Cox. Three yards is it. And it's third down. Third and eight. Criddle goes in motion, timeout. Olsen sends the motion. I think they wanted him to send the motion and see, look at the defense. And there was under 10 seconds left on the play clock. So Olsen just turned and called timeout. Gives us a chance to mention our sponsor, one of our sponsors, our friends at the factory, Pizzeria. They're open late after the game. You know, you watch this ball game, you're feeling that hankering for a pizza, because who doesn't want a pizza at 9 o'clock on a Friday night? I know I do. Well, you can call the factory and go down and go down there and have pizza at the factory, or you can go pick one up, have your own party. But the factory pizzeria always does it up right. Who Hot, another one of our sponsors. They're just down the road here. How do you, Who Hot? Lots of meat, vegetarian, no gluten, low-carb diet. They can do it all for you, or you do it all for yourself. They're at Who Hot. Build what you want. All sorts of options available at Who Hot. Third and eight. Criddle goes in motion. Time for Olsen. Uncorks, has a man, and he just misses Cox. Cox had a step, and Olsen put too much on it, sailed it over his head. And it's fourth down. 
and Olsen wasn't happy about that. Now Olsen's still out there on fourth and eight. He can kick the ball, and we saw Ridgeline do this last year. Cox would kick it. And they may try to get Bonneville off size. He takes another step back, and he's going to kick it away. Nobody back for Bonneville. And this thing's going to roll inside the 15, down to the 12. And that's where Bonneville will take over, trailing by just a point with 9.45 to play as it's been a defensive chess match in this ball game. The last possession for Bonneville, they came out and they went heavy, said, we're going we're gonna to truck you. Go ahead and stop it. And Ridgeline couldn't stop it. And let's see what adjustments Ridgeline makes. Up front. Ridgeline's up, Case and Dana. Fred Maloof. As they platoon guys in there. Dante Bond also on that defensive line. Now they spread things out, does Bonneville. Johnson in some trouble, steps up, has some running room. Johnson to the outside, across the 30. Out almost to the 40-yard line. As Bonneville gashing Ridgeline's defense Jackson with the run. Oh, that one was not Ridgeline designed. Secondary. 25 yards for Johnson. He's got 73 yards on 11 carries as the two quarterbacks. All of the offense. They swing this one out. Trying to get to the outside and turn in the corner is 24. Isaac Mansare, and he does. And he picks up good yardage. 15 yards David on the little Gilmer swing. And Tristan Stokes with the tackle for Ridgeline. So things starting to click for Bonneville as they found themselves a little bit of a rhythm. And Ridgeline hasn't found an answer. Still playing with that three-man front. Now they walk somebody up. They give to Havili. Havili picks up five. Nope. They're going to spot him back after a pickup of three. Fonga Havili with the three-yard gain. And that's a win for the Ridgeline defense after their last after their last little bit. They've been giving up some pretty big runs. They walk Monk up from that safety spot, and he's up in around the defensive line. They're going to run a screen. 33, Pelagio Williams out to the 40 yard line near the first down, but there's a suspect block back at the original line of scrimmage. There's two flags, so let's see if they're both on one team or we've split something up. As that screen has picked up a few yards, but a hold on Bonneville. So we've gone a while without a penalty on either team. But that's the sixth penalty on Bonneville. 55 yards worth of penalties on Bonneville. There's still 8.41 to play here in the first quarter, or excuse me, second quarter, first half. Looks like Ridgeline's gonna be pinching down maybe on this one. Let's see, they were just about off sides. They're running some games inside. They run the little tunnel screen inside to Hunter Davis. And Davis back to the line of scrimmage and that's it. Another stop assisted by also number 10, Owen Monk. So now it's third and a lot. They gotta get down to the 38 yard line. It's third and 20. Johnson against the three-man rush. 
keeps himself alive, finds his man, Palacio Williams, first down, Bonneville. Back to McFarlane, knocking, number 16 inbounds, reception. They needed 20, they got 23. Gavin. And they had a lot of time, did Johnson to try to find a man. So Ridgeline couldn't get pressure on Johnson, and he made him pay. Found a guy coming all the way across the field. Now Johnson's gonna keep right up the middle. He's just, they're just running the A and B gap. J -T on the and stop he picks it up eight. So Bonneville moving into scoring position again after converting on third and 20. It's second and one at the Ridgeline 26. Ridgeline leads 7-6. As the Bonneville offense has found their groove while the Ridgeline offense has struggled a little bit. Johnson bounces outside, nobody there for containment. The end got caught up down inside and Johnson picks up yardage down to about the 18. And he picks up six. Johnson with 87 yards on 13 carries. Bonneville's not doing anything super tricky. Uh, they're just winning up front. Avili, they're gonna swing it out to him, get him in space, he loses the ball. Johnson got walloped. Now that was a backwards pass that wasn't caught, that should be a fumble, but Johnson got hit late, and that's gonna be a penalty on Ridgeline. He got hit just as he threw it, and they called the same thing on Bonneville earlier, so they're being consistent with it. On the field. Personal foul, roughing the passer. And from where that is, let's see if it's 15 or if it's half the distance. No, it's 15. They take it all the way down inside the 10 yard line. That's only the second penalty on Ridgeline but it's a big one from a potential turnover to something that's a potential scoring position for Bonneville, which is the same thing that happened to Bonneville earlier when they got called for roughing the passer. First and goal, give to Havili. Havili cuts back, still on his feet down to the five, a pickup of four, second and goal coming up. Hundred and seven yards rushing for Bonneville in this first half. Still six minutes to play in the first half. Meanwhile, on the other side, Olsen has 89 yards rushing, White has five, and Ripstein has one. So 95 yards rushing for Ridgeline. As we're under six minutes to play here in the first half. Johnson looking for the end zone. He stops short, picks up three. Third and goal. Haven and Owen on the tackle for Ridgeline. Three straight third down conversions for Bonneville dating back to their prior drive. One of those was on third and 20 to keep this current drive alive. And again, they're just going heavy up front. Johnson's gonna keep it, he's got it. Opening, is he there? Fourth down. Picked up a yard. And they're hurrying to the line of scrimmage and Travis Cox, the defensive coordinator and head coach for Ridgeline wants a timeout. Timeout called, Ridgeline. They want a timeout. This is a huge fourth down. It's fourth and goal 
Uh, just inside the two yard line for Bonneville and it's a seven to six ball game. Custom Fence has been a sponsor for the game of the week on the Valley Channel for a couple of years. If you're a DIYer, they can help you out and supply good advice and the right materials to help you DIY. Get right. Don't forget about the good folks at Wendy's. We got multiple locations around the Valley. And look, we could talk about certain things on their menu. You know, they have their promotional Extra items and stuff, but everything on their menu is good at Wendy's. You know, they, they've got that new, their new fries down there. I, if you haven't tried them, you really need to go give it a try. That's a Wendy's, one of our game sponsors. Well, the offense last year for Bonneville was the 14th ranked offense in 5A, 28 points a game. They've got four returning starters. Pelagio Williams, Diaz, Sime Sabili, to name a few, or to name three of those four, anyway. Fourth and goal, just inside the two. Johnson, man in motion, it's Diaz. Johnson keeps, Johnson hold down! And the defense makes a play. Johnson just tripped more than he was tackled, and that slowed him down enough that Ridgeline was able to catch up. Grayson Stokes brought him down. And a loss of one on fourth and goal. And Ridgeline clings to that lead by their fingernails. And they're gonna take over at about the four yard line. Man, the way Bonneville is playing up so tight, a tight end down the seam could do some real damage. Olsen gives. It looked like he wanted to take it back. And maybe a yard. Let's see if they move that stick. Will Ripstein on the carry. Ripstein picks up a yard. I mean, Bonneville has all 11 guys up within five yards of the line of scrimmage. Even their safety. Their safety's backing up with his heels at seven. Ripstein keeps, works his way out to the eight. So a pickup of four. Nothing fancy for Ridgeline here and it's third and five for the Riverhawks. And Bonneville still playing up tight. They're giving it to Ripstein again and he trips and falls. Ripstein on the carry. And they give him a yard. It's gonna be fourth and four. For the Lakers on the tackle. And a timeout called. With 3.37 to play in the half, I think Bonneville took the timeout. Nope, Ridgeline did. So Ridgeline took it over back about the three, four yard line. They've moved it out, it's fourth and four. They're out to about, you know, they're right around the nine. And an important punt coming from their own end zone. Rich line offensively. It's interesting that they just, they were running that read option. And it's interesting with that defense up like that, that they didn't look at a shot, but they're in a one point game, still trying to kind of figure out who they are. And playing it a little conservative. A little bit of a low snap and the kick away. And it's not very long, but it's gonna get a good bounce. Boy, that's a great bounce to the 47 yard line at Bonneville. Ends up being about a 46 yard kick. Sam Pirtle with a low line driver. And he got the roll. Here's something to look at. Ridgeline is one of four on third down. And ever since that touchdown Case, run, Dana, no their star. offense has just kind of sputtered. And they haven't, they haven't put the ball, they Red put the ball in the air and turned it over. 
the line as well. They've thrown seven passes. Well, since five of seven for 34 yards Dante and an interception. Making up the third piece of the defensive line. Two running backs now for Bonneville. They trail by a point, 325 to play in the half. Johnson, they fake the little swing pass to Mansare, and then as the defender committed, Johnson took off in the big lane that was left open, and Johnson picks up three. Johnson. Diaz was clutching at a hammy earlier in the game, but he's out there now. He's on the far side. Mansare in the slot with him on that far side. Havili in the backfield. Havili a fake give to him. Monk chasing down Johnson. He unloads and it's short. Johnson not able to get his feet set and didn't have the arm to get it there without stepping into it because Monk was right on his heels, and there's a flag in a spot that looks like a defensive hold. And I'm surprised that that will be the first one of the game on either team, and it's not. It's going to be an ineligible man downfield. This squad, this uh, officiating squad, has been letting a lot of contact go downfield, both sides of the ball, and so I thought maybe that's what they were going to get. But it was an ineligible man downfield. So do you take third and seven, or do you take second and 12? Third and seven. Bonneville is three of five on third downs. Johnson is three of six for 38 yards. And everybody moves. Offense, defense, cheerleaders, guys selling popcorn. Again, tonight's medical coverage is provided by... And Intervalance it's a procedure Sports call Medicine. against Bonneville, and it's a five-yard penalty. Provider for Utah State Athletics and our very own Ridgeline Riverhawks. Seven penalties on Bonneville in this first half. Two on Ridgeline. Johnson on third and 12. Gets rid of it to Havili. Havili can't escape, and he's hauled down right at the line of scrimmage. In fact, he's going to lose a yard. Tackle by Max, Bear. Max Bear with the tackle. Senior. Mason Stokes. So Richline forces the punt as Stokes will back up and the clock runs with 2.05 to play in the first half. Imagine Bonneville will let it run as they're under 10 seconds before they snap it. Not a good kick. Off the side of the punter's foot maybe, not a good kick. Let's see where they spot this one. And the official on the near sideline still walking. Right there at the 40 yard line they say. Fifteen yard punt, sixteen yard punt sets Ridgeline up in a spot where they can run their two minute offense. See what they got, see if they open it up a little bit. Again, it's an all new offensive look Here this year. Ridgeline offense, anchored by Budadolfi, Jackson, Olsen, quarterback. What do they got here? Oh, they called a penalty on, they called a hold on Ridgeline. Ridgeline was all at the line ready to go. Then they stopped him and said, wait, there was a hold on that non-return. And the Ridgeline coaches want to know what's going on. So that backs Ridgeline up to the 30. Olsen's going to roll, unloads, has a man, and a completion to Carson Cox about eight yards down the field. Carson Cox on the reception for Ridgeline. Cox with his first catch of the game. Give it off. First down run. Havili. Both Havili's there to stop. Gas away. No, nope, excuse me. Let's see. Will Ridgeline on the carry. That'll move the chains. First down. Ridgeline. It was Ramstein. Ripstein. 
And he picks up the first down. Hey, it's the first game for me, too. This season, anyway. 113, clock moves. Ridgeline approaching midfield as Cox goes in motion. Only one timeout for the Riverhawks as they flip the formation. They ride it for a while, hand it off, and the first down run for McFarland. McFarland number 16, senior on the carry for Ridgeline. He picks up 11, and that'll stop the, the clock the and down. move the chains. The ball at the Bonneville 45, and Ridgeline with 50 seconds. And the clock running once they set it. Olsen's going to give it off. No, he's going to keep it. Olsen, hit, moves forward to the 40. And I think the official was back there, and I think he's right. The Jeff white hat says that he put the ball down. He did. He put his hand down for his own balance, and he touched the football to the ground. And he, instead of putting his hand on the ground, he put the football on the ground to get his balance. If you want to be a sponsor, and I was wondering if the official Rich saw that, and the white hat saw it, and they brought it back. So instead of about a six-yard run, it's going to be a three-yard loss. Again, returning back to those who are sponsored, Jeremy White, John Booth, Lace Swab, Living Tree Got so used to that offense last year, Ridgeline, like a hot knife through butter. Maple Springs And they're trying to kind of find their groove here in this first game in a tight fight contest, 7-6. Ridgeline leads Bonneville with 39 seconds left in the first half. Three returning offensive linemen for Ridgeline. They felt like that would be their strength. Olsen playing quarterback again after playing receiver last year. He was a quarterback as a sophomore, a freshman, and all through Little League. But all new skill position players around him. Olsen has to go up and get it. Unloads. Too far for McFarland. McFarland kind of slowed down as he turned to look and look back and kind of stopped his pattern. And, and Olsen put it out there and put it over him. And you saw with that pass right there, you talk about Olsen running the ball, but he's got an arm. The kid can throw the football. And he can throw it from different levels. He can sidearm it. He can throw it overhand. He's just got to dial it in and get feeling comfortable doing it. Third down. One for four on third down. Olsen's got a nice pocket. Over the middle, man on the move. It's going to be near the sticks, but about a yard short. Clock runs. Jackson Olsen with the reception. As Knighton with the catch. Fourth and two. Throwing underneath to Knighton. Knighton catches it. Hunter Knighton with and they reception. stop the clock with four seconds Second to play. Reception in a row. Are they going to spike it? They're going to spike it with one second. And they're going to look to try a long field goal. There was one second when the official blew that whistle. I looked as soon as he blew it. So it's going to be about a 47-yarder. Bonneville's going to take a timeout. They've got all three. So Olsen on that last little pass to Livingston. Up here in the box, he we picked up about six more Council yards. Reminding all students the next home game to get is a in field goal range. Out. Aaron Young, the sophomore kicker. I was watching him out here in warm ups. So He's got a pretty good seven. leg on him. Well, let's see what he can do. The, new the wind shirts. has died down, as you can probably tell well, listening to us. Shirts, it's just a little bit of an occasional a breeze. As for students and for everybody. Ridgeline leads by a point in a defensive battle in this first half. It'll be fun to watch 
what adjustments are made by both teams at halftime. If I'm Bonneville, I don't know if I'm adjusting much other than maybe stick with the power running game. Boy, they put Olsen in there, and they're not going to kick it. Olsen unloads. It's going to be short of the end zone. It was caught out of bounds, and that's it. He didn't have a chance to heave it for Cox in the end zone. And that's the end of the first half. Richline 7, Bonneville 6. You're watching the game of the week on the Valley Channel. selections of fresh flowers. They're family owned and been in business for a long time and they make you feel like part of the family. Cash Valley Hearing and Audiology. At Cash Valley Hearing and Audiology, we believe in a very thorough hearing test. Do you hear ringing noises? Does any member of your family have hearing loss? Do you have frequent or severe headaches? Any numbness in your face or fingertips? Do loud sounds hurt your ears? Were you in the military? Have you ever had your hearing tested before? No, I have not. Say the word mousetrap. Say the word baseball. Say the word airplane. Say the word cowboy. It also told us if you had a soft, I was able to make the words in the rest of the What are all the rest of the... Okay. Bring back what you've been missing. Bring back Cash Valley hearing and audiology. Your password is password, and everything you own is gray, Mike. I thought you liked basic, Mike. That was before I had Wendy's made to crave chicken sandwiches. Now I know I can do better than basic. Upgrade from basic with three new sandwiches on Wendy's made to crave menu. The barbecue chicken sandwich, avocado BLT chicken sandwich, and the sauce and bacon chicken sandwich. At Wendy's, we got you. You need to take a long drive at exactly the speed limit. I want to succeed in athletics, but I also want to succeed in school, and I also want to help my family and my community. And so I think through being balanced and juggling all these things, it leads me to fulfill those wants and then be happier because of it. In order to have a, you know, a fulfilling and well-rounded life, you have to do a lot of different things. She goes to her classes and she does her sports. I don't really know how she does it. <laughs> I mean, she goes to every day, which is like a smile on her face. I think everyone can have a drive, but it's the people that actually choose to feed this hunger are the people that stand out. Your hunger to win has to be bigger than anybody else's. If she sets her mind to it, she's going to accomplish it, and I have no doubt about that. Whether it's she needs to drop three seconds on her time, she needs to get a better grade on her math test. Bill is just one of those people who whenever like, I see you do anything, you always have this drive. There's a drive there that comes from wanting to be everything that her mom set in motion in the first 13 years of her life. My mom was one of my closest friends, so she had such an immense impact and influence on my life that when she died, my whole world was kind of turned around. She was heartbroken, as you would imagine. She knew she had all these little ones looking to her. She was only 12 years old, but she became the person who was handling it. I'm trying my best, I guess. It's been hard. She was such a big part of my life, but I'm doing the best I can. 
Kent is a beautiful runner. I mean, just amazing to watch her run. She's a tremendous sister, tremendous daughter, caring soul, remarkably proud of Jillian. Like she has so much responsibility in her life. It's also amazing that she does it with such like humility and grace. When you lose your mom and your sister, you realize how precious every day is and you want to make the most of every day. Right? You sort of set high goals for yourself and you sort of work to achieve them. Sheer will and, I don't know, passion and, I don't know, but to get themselves there quicker than anybody else, to reach down deep, push through that pain, that both mental pain where you just want to stop, you want to give up, and that physical pain where your legs and your muscles are screaming and just get yourself there. The Game of the Week on the Valley Channel is brought to you by Wendy's of Cash Valley. It's way better than fast food. It's Wendy's. Cash Valley Hearing and Audiology. Bring back what you have been missing. Palmer Home Furnishings. Our low overhead means higher quality at lower prices. Aspen Dental. Get that gorgeous smile you've always wanted. Custom Fence Company. Privacy, security, peace of mind. Riches, cars, and credit. Good guys you can trust. Anderson Seed and Garden. Growing better gardeners. The Logo Shop. We logo stuff. All kinds of stuff. KSM means music. Music is all we do. Factory Pizzeria. We're open late after the game. And the Valley Channel. Cash Valley's TV station for over 30 years. Back at Millville, which is Ridgeline's home. Ridgeline, the defending 4A state champions. And they lead 7-6 over Bonneville at the half. It's kind of a blustery evening here as there have been thunderstorms around, but it's a beautiful, beautiful evening otherwise. About 80 degrees and sun keeps peeking in and out. And just take that wind away and you couldn't do much better. Well, it's a one point ball game and you, like you would expect, the stats are pretty darn close as well. Unofficially, we've got Ridgeline for 114 yards rushing, 59 yards passing, 173 total yards. Bonneville, 113 yards rushing, 37 yards passing, 150 total yards. Jackson Johnson, 93 yards on 17 carries for Bonneville to lead the way, while Jackson Olson leads the way for Ridgeline. Three carries, 86 yards, and a touchdown. Bonneville will get the ball to start the second half. You know, they probably ought to turn the lights on in here. I wonder, these lights are much better than the old lights that took forever to warm up, but I'm looking down there thinking, you know, it's kind of dark. It's because none of the stadium lights are on. This one fielded at the two yard line by Manzare. Manzare slips out of a tackle and he's out across the 30 to the 33 yard line. And that's where Bonneville will take over. Trailing 7-6 as we head to the second half. And tackle by number 24, Charlie Booth. Looking at some of the other scores around the region as everybody kicks it off tonight. Had a second quarter score from Mountain Crest and Hurricane. Mountain Crest was leading Hurricane seven nothing. Crimson Cliffs was leading Green Canyon seven three late in the second quarter. Here's the give to Havili as he picks his way forward for about three. That was Sime Havili. Morgan leads Bear River 21-0. And early in the second quarter last score we had Skyview led Salem Hills 14-7. Mansare in motion. Nobody in the backfield with Johnson. He's gonna keep this run netting him a lot of yardage in that first half. He stays on his feet. Picks up about four. First contact though among many Ridgeline players on the tackle there. And it'll be third down. Three of six on third down for Bonneville. It's third and three.
Isaac Mansere, the sophomore in the backfield, now motions out. Johnson's gonna keep it. Johnson near the first down marker, he's got it. As he pushes forward, needed three, he got four. And he has 100 yards rushing. Haven Gore on the tackle, along with others. Haven Gore, this junior linebacker with all the hair there in the middle, number, number 30 on the tackle. So Bonneville been able to run the ball in this ball game, but only one touchdown to show for it. Johnson had three guys on him. He made them all miss and he picks up nine. They're gonna say he was down after an eight yard gain. Nice job by Johnson there. He had three guys staring at him and then he said, whoop, turned around and went the other way and there was nobody backside keeping that contained. Bonneville really hasn't been attacking the edges as much as that A and B gap. They've spread it out though, trying to give Johnson some running lanes. They're gonna give it off to Mansare. Mansare looking to turn up field. He's met by Gore, no gain. Ball's free. Ridgeline says they have it. I don't think it was free. It looked like, looked like Mansare was down. Even Gore. The initial hit. So it's third and two. Bonneville with the initial possession of the second half, trailing 7-6 in a defensive battle here in the first game of the 22 football season. Johnson looking for an opening, he's got it. He's met before the first down marker. He falls forward for the first down, but they're gonna say he was down. Boy, it looked from up here like he got it. And they're gonna say short, wow. I'm a long way away. It looked like he had it from up here, but you know, if he's got a knee down. Havili heads off, heavy to this side. Sure, Johnson's gonna keep, unless they can get Ridgeline off sides. Let's see. Johnson's gonna keep, has an opening, has a first down and more. Trips up the turf monster, got him at about the 30 yard line after a big run. 17 yards and Johnson's just gashing. this defense. He's got 126 yards rushing, and a lot of it's right up the middle like that. Ridgeline's just getting pushed around up front. They're running that three-man down line, but when you do that, you end up with four of the linebackers, you know, that three-four kind of look. Bad snap, ball's loose. Johnson has to go get on it. Dante Bond, the junior, number 52, was racing him for it. Johnson finally gets on it. What a break for Ridgeline defense that needed one, a loss of 17. Second and long, second and 27. Johnson looking, hanging it out there. McFarlane has good position, he falls down, and it's caught. Bonneville in scoring range as Diaz comes up with it. 44 yards. Tristan Stokes on the tackle for Ridgeline. Again, I wonder if they're gonna turn the lights on in here. It's getting a little dark. First and goal, flag out on the field, and let's see. Illegal participation, 
on they are too many men there's two four six eight they got 12 on the field so that's going to back them up so it's first and goal back about the 12 yard line for Bonneville they were down in here once before and couldn't score Pass skips in front of the intended receiver, Levi Olson. Man McFarland had great position on that pass and it hung up there and then he kind of stumbled and fell and it fell into the arms of Diaz. And that was on second and 27 and it ended up being a 44 yard gain. The chunk plays, the big plays have been going Bonneville's way. Ridgelines had one big play and that was the touchdown run. Here's Johnson in trouble, Alice chasing him. And finally knocked out of bounds by Dante Bond. Down about the nine yard line. Dante Bond chasing the 120 yards for Johnson. The snap that went past him and over his head was a 17 yard loss and so that goes on his rushing stats as a 17 yard loss and we've got somebody down for Ridgeline. Looks like a cramp. It's Bond and he's up. and heading for the sideline. He's walking all right, he's reaching back, holding the back of his leg. It's third down and goal from the nine yard line. Bonneville had a chance to take the lead in the first half as they had a fourth and goal from, you know, it's just inside the two yard line and Johnson kind of stumbled looked like he might be able to get the edge and rich line tracked him down and caught him and that helped ridge line hang on to the lead going into the halftime and now here's bonneville again with a chance on third and goal johnson looking to throw four-man rush johnson back in the end zone too high for manzare Five of nine for Johnson for 81 yards. 44 of those coming on one pass to get Bonneville down here in scoring position. And it looks like the Lakers will have to settle for a field goal attempt. From Ashton Archuleta. Johnson is the holder, so Richline will have to be on their toes. This is about a 27 yard field goal attempt with the wind in his face. Blocked. And it's free and picked up. McFarland spun out of bounds. Out about the 25 yard line. So the first special teams game turning play is made by Ridgeline. As the Bonneville special teams has struggled in this one. They missed the PAT that would have tied it. And then that Field goal attempt was blocked. And McFarland advances it to the 25 and Rich Line and Jackson Olson will hit the field. Ripstein behind Olson. As they tighten everything up, looks like they may run it. That's what they're showing anyway. Olson's gonna throw to Criddle. Criddle hit immediately and brought down at about the 30, a five yard gain on first down. Mason Criddle on the reception. Mason Criddle with the shore tackle. Or excuse me, with the shore hands to grab it, catch it. Here's the fake give to Ripstein. Off his back foot was Olsen. And he tried to put it in there to Livingston, or Knighton, and Knighton the tight end 
was hit just as the ball got there and he dropped it. Third and five. One for five for Ridgeline on third down. That's a stat to watch. They've been in a lot of positions where it's been third and long. This one's third and five. Still everybody playing up for Bonneville. Olsen's going to keep it. Olsen's got the first down, and he's swarmed at about the 44-yard line. He's got a 14-yard run and a first down. He's got four carries and 100 yards and a touchdown. And I've frankly been a little surprised that we haven't seen him keep up the middle more. He's, they're running that read option, and the way he's reading it, he's reading that end, and is the end coming up field, or is the end crashing down? And if you look at that, here's a good look at this defense. Look at 80, the safety, and 24, the safety. They're six yards, six yards off the line of scrimmage. Ripstein picks up three. To JT White up the middle. Nope, that was White. Three carries, eight yards for White. JT White, the sophomore. Coach Cox says we've got three good classes in here. He's really excited about the future of this Ridgeline team. Olsen's gonna throw, he swings it out, and everybody was coming upfield for Bonneville. And they just about stepped in there and took that one back the other way. It's third and seven. Olsen eight of 12 for 64 yards. Here's another one of those third downs. Two of six. Four wide receivers. Four man front. Olsen's gonna step forward. Puts it in there and Criddle can't catch it. Put it on him and Criddle couldn't bring it in. It would have been a 15 yard gain and it would have been a first down and it said it's fourth down. He was hit, a little slow to get up. But Olsen put it on him. And they're going to run. Ripstein at the running back, and now they're going to flip-flop Bovey to the other side, and Coach Cox wants a timeout. Oh, no, we've got a penalty for 12 guys in there. Two, four, six, eight. 10-12, they ran somebody on the onto the field and it gave them 12 guys. I thought they were taking a timeout. Bobby went running on the field late and that put 12 guys on the field. Only the third penalty for Ridgeline, but it's costly. It's fourth and 12, see if Olsen just punts it. This time they've got a returner back. And he is going to kick it away over the head of Manseray and into the end zone. So Bonneville will take over at the 20 yard line as the Ridgeline offense continues to struggle. Ridgeline defense enters the field. 131 rushing yards and 64 passing yards. So you're about 200 yards of offense with 410 to play in the third quarter. And I think when you're looking at it through the lens of a Ridgeline team that averaged 45 points per game, one of the, I mean, that team was one of the all-timer type of teams, right? They could run the ball, they could pass it. It's probably pretty unfair to be comparing this year to last year. And Coach Cox told me that. He said, hey, we don't talk about last year. This is a new team, it's different, this is different. These guys are, are different and we'll be our own team. Pressure coming up. These guys creep up for Ridgeline and they catch Johnson after a short gain. He'd been gashing him all night on that play. And he gets two on that one. Oh, 
Johnson holds. Now he's going to take off. He shovels one out. Man, he might have been able to get around Bond to the edge. And he shovels it forward for Diaz. And Diaz tried to come back to it and slid down, and the ball was short, incomplete. Third and eight. The chance for the Ridgeline defense to give their offense a hand and maybe give them a short field to work with. Answer is still on the field. Now he comes off. Bonneville wants a timeout. So Mansare ran to the sideline and he kind of stayed on the field and, and the defensive back, Ian Daly, popped out there like, hey, I got a guy out here. Then he stepped out of bounds and then and then uh, Fonga Havili looked like he was coming on the field and they were just trying to figure out, Bonneville was, who do we really want on the field here? And they take a timeout. We talked about this defense for Ridgeline, number one last year, and they returned some guys. Uh, Paskett still hurt. He got hurt toward the end of last year. He had 10 sacks last year. Their D-line is bigger than last year, and they were they were hoping they'd be able to stop the run better. But, you know, this is a game a little bit like last year where Bonneville really gave them some fits. They like their linebackers, do the Ridgeline coaches, but they're really inexperienced, and they're learning out there all the time. But I talked about how about last year. Coach Cox says, we haven't talked about last year. Practice, prep, play smart, and play with confidence. And we tell our kids, this is Coach Cox speaking again, to get up early and work hard. You'll get passed up. Nothing's being handed to you. And that's how they're avoiding the, trying to avoid the letdown. Bonneville moved. Ridgeline shifted their defense, and then the couple of linemen for Bonneville flinched on the shift. So that's a five-yard penalty for the Lakers. 65 yards worth of penalty. This is ninth penalty on Bonneville. First game. First game problems, right? Third and 14. Johnson with a lot of time. Right at the sticks, he's got a first down. I cannot believe they can't get any pressure on him. He has forever, and that's what happened. That's what's happened this whole game. If he's got time, he's going to find somebody. You can only cover for so long. First down on third and 13, he pick up 14. Max Diaz on the reception, first down. Ninety-five yards were the catches for Diaz. That can't be right. <laughs> yeah. Let's try fifty-eight. Here's another completion. This one a pickup of about ten. Let's take it out to Nichols. The tackle for Colby Mickles with his first guy. Oh, they're going to call the first down. Wow. That's pretty generous. He caught it at about seven yards, and then he turned up field, and he had a bunch of guys coming for his own guys, smack into that pile and push him past the 40 for the first down. Here's Johnson, the pickup of four. Hundred and twenty six yards rushing on twenty six carries for Johnson. And if you're just tuning in, you probably think that Bonneville is winning this ball game, but they're losing by a point. Two minutes to play in the third quarter at seven six ridge line. They're hanging on for dear life as Bonneville's the one moving the football offensively, but they can't seem to punch it into the end zone. But you give them enough chances, eventually they're going to get in there. High snap, Johnson looking for the swing to Havili. Havili corralled there and loses six. And it's third down. 
again last time. Uh, Owen Monk is down on the field. Let's see if he's got cr a cramp. But I don't know, he went down and he was favoring his left leg. And he's being helped off by one of his teammates. You don't want to lose him, he plays everywhere. He's, he's that Swiss Army knife, does a little bit of everything for this defense. But you know, you're the defense and you think, hey, we're gonna get a pretty good spot here. It's third and third and 11, well, there's been a couple of third and longs that Bonneville has converted on because Ridgeline's rushing three, they can't get to Johnson and he runs around forever and then finds a receiver. It's kind of that 3-3-5 look. It's more of a 3-3-5 look than a 3-4. Johnson with a pulling guard behind him, has to throw and he's wide of the mark. So that time Johnson was being chased by Alice and we got a flag out on the field. The defense looks like they're gonna get off the field, but there's a flag, let's see. Ineligible man downfield against Bonneville. That's gonna be the second time tonight. And that's the other thing that happens on a long play like that. Johnson, a mobile quarterback, he's able to keep a play alive so he can get a receiver open, but that sometimes gets your lineman downfield as well. It's hard for those big guys to, to kind of just stay right in there and, and they just kind of work their way down the field. And some, if they work their way too far down the field, it's a penalty. So Bonneville has to punt. Fourth and 11. This is a boomer. Fair catch called for and made at about the 22 yard line by Stokes. And the Ridgeline offense will take the field again. Ridgeline offensively is, you know, they, they want to spread people out, and make some running lanes for their quarterback and running backs. The but they really offense. haven't been able to Jackson spread Olson. Bonneville out. Olsen's got 100 yards rushing, and all of it's come up the middle. The one time he tried to get outside, he got tackled for a loss as they've run that read option. Cox to the far side, two receivers to the near side. McFarlane, it looks like Criddle. And they're gonna throw quick. That's not Criddle, it's Bovey. Bovey inside, picks up 13. Seth Bovey with the reception. First down, root line. Two, four, six, seven different receivers they've thrown to today. The running back keeps on that play, on that read option. Ripstein, he picks up a yard. Ripstein's got eight carries for 13 yards. It's been tough sledding for the running backs in this game. The quarterbacks are running all over the field. Both quarterbacks over 100 yards rushing. Johnson's got 99 yards passing and Olsen's at 77. McFarland in the backfield. Olsen on second and nine. He's got some time, now Crockett breaks down. He slides out of bounds at about the 40 Johnson yard line. A pickup of three, it's gonna be third down and six. No, no, the official was at the 40 and then he stepped back two yards and said no. He stepped out of bounds right at the line of scrimmage. Man, it looked like he stepped out of bounds closer to the 40, but there's a bunch of players between me and that football, so it's hard for me to see from up here. Bonneville's got all sorts of players up there in the box, and they're bringing heat. Olsen. Gets it off, it's gonna be short anyway, and McFarland is walloped. Havili helps him up. And it's fourth down. Incomplete pass. Covered by number 10 for the Lakers. Two seconds to play in the third quarter. 
and it's fourth and eight. And again, that Ridgeline offense just can't get anything going. They've worked, they work the edges on the passing game. They've never really tried to work over the middle. And Olsen's gonna look, and he's gonna kick it away. Nobody back. See if Bovey can get there, and he can't. <laughs> and that's the end of the third quarter. It'll be Bonneville's football when we come back. 7-6, Ridgeline on top. Well, I hope you're enjoying this one. It's been a close, close ball game. And when you enjoy these games, even if you don't enjoy them, if they're, even if they're one-sided, they're always brought to you by great sponsors that sponsor all of our local high schools. People like Palmer Home Furnishings. Palmer Home Furnishings, just down the road to the north of us here, we're at Ridgeline. They've always got great sales going on. They can, they've got recliners sectionals, home offices, do dozens, dozens of brands. And they have, a, they have a great variety. I was in there looking at some recliners because, you know, my wife and I, we're starting to get to that stage. Kids are leaving the house, right? And so I said, look, we don't need a couch and a, and a uh, love seat. We need a couple of fat recliners to sit in. And I was in there looking at Palmer the other day. They got quite a selection. Palmer Home Furnishings, one of our game sponsors. So Bonneville's offense back on the field. Ridgeline nursing a one-point lead. Here's the give to Havili. Havili, submarine, as he gets right back to the line of scrimmage. He looked like he had stiff-armed his way out of a tackle, but then he got his legs cut out from under him. As you can probably tell, the wind is kicking up again. We've got those monsoon thunderstorms boiling up over the mountains and you get those outflow winds from those right here near the canyon. Johnson's gonna throw to Mansouray. Mansouray looking to make a move. He makes one move and then he gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's gonna be third and ten. Team tackle by Ridgeline. Ridgeline says, hey, go ahead. And, go ahead and try to throw side to side and do all that stuff. That's, we like it better than when we're shoving it down our throat. Third and 10. Johnson, low snap, picks it up. He's got a man, it's Mansouray. Mansouray was running free, nobody near him. Down the sideline, makes a move, and he's in to Ridgeline territory. Once again, Ridgeline can't get off the field on third down. Tackle by number 10. 31 oh, yards on third and long. Mansray has 36 yards on three catches. As Bonneville continues to pick up and make big plays, especially on third down, but they can't punch it into the end zone. Here's a good run by Havili. About five yards. Casey Dana, part of the tackle there. The ridge line, along with Brent Maloof and others. I didn't get a chance, you know, maybe I'll get a chance if Clay slows down a little to look at the third quarter stats, but I would bet that Bonneville yardage wise has just killed Ridgeline in that quarter. Here's Johnson looking for something up the middle. He just kind of squeezes his way down the sideline and picks up yardage to the 34. And he's got a first down and he's down. Johnson's down and he's holding his leg. Looks like he could be hurt. He's not feeling good. That's not a good sign. He's got 131 yards rushing, and he has been their offense. And he's holding his lower leg. Can't tell if it's a knee or a... ankle or what. 
or you know you hope it's just a you hope it's just a cramp and they're working him like maybe it is but let's see they're not testing that knee or anything that I can tell but they were working his ankle a little bit or working that toe we've seen a lot of cramping up out here tonight from both sides football Huh. We'll keep an eye on that, and hopefully that young man's all right. He's had a whale of a ball game. Cash Valley Hearing and Audiology is one of our game sponsors. Dr. Paul Dane's a board-certified audiologist. He's a doctor. Don't trust your hearing to just anyone. Take it to Dr. Paul Dane's at Cash Valley Hearing and Audiology. So Johnson's up, and he'll have to come out for at least one play. Looked like he was moving okay. Boy, he was down, and he was kind of reaching down holding his, around his knee, and you know, that's your first thought, uh-oh, you know. He hurt his knee, but looked like he's gonna be all right. Backup is in there. They throw, this is gonna be a double pass. Ball's gonna be picked. Stokes picks it off. Stokes picks it off at the 10-yard line. It looked like maybe Bonneville had fooled the Ridgeline defense, but Stokes closed on it in a hurry and took it away. And Ridgeline takes over at the 20 yard line. That's the first turnover of the ball game. It was Archuleta that threw it. First turnover of the ball game for Bonneville. Well, here's that offense. Back out there. Olsen kept it. McFarland didn't take it. Olsen looked at him after he took it back like, hey, you were supposed to take that. <laughs> it's a loss of three. Nolan Robinson on the tackle for the Lakers. You know, the guy they got playing left guard is a freshman. He's 14 years old, Easton Hammond. And they think he could be something. He's big, he's strong, and he's 14. Number 51 for Ridgeline. Olsen's gonna slide out of the pocket. Makes one man miss, makes another man miss. Heading for the sideline, he's out across the 30, and a first down. 14 yards for Olsen. 8.48 to play in this ball game. Ridgeline leads by one point. They would like to stretch that lead out some more. Here's the give to McFarland. McFarland waiting for blockers. He's got yardage out to the 45. Boy, that was just a that was just a slow roll out to the 45 yard line. 14 yards for McFarland. He's got two carries for 25 yards. As a rare opportunity for Ridgeline to get yardage around the edge. Bonneville's done a good job of sealing the edge all night long. Five wide receivers, McFarland in the backfield. Olsen's gonna swing it out to McFarland. McFarland, nothing fancy, just putting his head down and chugging forward to the 48 yard line of Bonneville and a gain of seven. Gets pushed out of bounds by the Laker secondary. Three catches, 23 yards for McFarland. As Ridgeline in Bonneville territory. With a one point lead, Olsen's gonna keep right up the middle. Ball's free as he was holding it out there with one hand, like a loaf of bread. And let's see who's got it. A 
Oh, goodness. He had picked up 14 yards, and then he, or excuse me, he had picked up five, six. Where are they bringing it back to? Five, six, seven, eight. He picked up nine yards, but he had it out there like a loaf of bread, and he got it stripped from behind. Somebody reached in from behind as he spun and got his arm, and he kind of was spinning away, and he's... Here's a turnover as Olsen fumbles. So he's thrown a pick and he's fumbled it. He scored a touchdown. And he's got 120 yards rushing. But I'm sure he'd like those two plays back as Bonneville's back on the field and Jackson Johnson. Number 14, back at quarterback for Bonneville. Johnson in trouble. Getting away. Uncorking it. Has a man. Too far as Hunter Davis was running around back there with nobody within five yards of him. And Johnson does a good job of just staying alive in the pocket. He's eight of 16, 130 yards through the air is Johnson. And he's got 131 yards rushing. So he's accounted for 261 yards for Bonneville. Olsen's accounted for 204 yards for Ridgeline. Diaz picks up seven, it'll be third and three. Ian Daly and Derek Gassaway on the tackle. 65 yards and three catches for Diaz. 44 of them coming on one play. Seven and a half to play in the ball game. A one point Ridgeline lead. It's been 7-6 since the first quarter. And a defensive battle here in Millville. Ridgeline's offsides. And oh, Havili's got all sorts of running room. Ridgeline was offsides. Bonneville with a clip. No flag on either one. It's all good. And Havili picks up big yardage. Noah, on the tackle. 15 the yards to Havili. And hey, look at that. Third down. And Bonneville converts. They're seven of 13 on third down. Give it to Havili, he's got running room. Havili breaking ankles out there as he picks up nine. Let's see, maybe the full 10, yeah, it's full 10. That's interesting, I'm watching the far side official and he is, he always is about three yards behind where the other official is. It's interesting the discrepancy. A lot of it has to do with what angle you're on and what you can see, right? Here's the give to Havili again. Havili a pickup of about four. For Havili, seven carries, 35 yards. Max Bear tripping him up at number. I'm sure Bonneville would like to. They'll just go ahead and grind away and see if they can't punch it in. They've got the wind behind them now. A field goal gives you the lead. Johnson's gonna swing it out there to Mansory. He makes one man miss. The second does not. Max Bear was coming with ill intentions. Noah Kekaloa on the tackle for Ridgeline. Ends up being a two yard gain. 10 of 19 for Johnson now, 139 yards. And guess what? It's Bonneville's best friend, third down, third and five. Bonneville is seven of 13, Ridgeline is two of eight on third downs. Johnson, nothing special here, he's just gonna keep it. First guy misses, he's got himself a first down. Now the defense starting to miss a lot of tackles for Ridgeline, I think they're getting a little gassed. Six yards for Johnson. 
the kick for the Ridgeline. Four fifty to play. One thing about it, if Bonneville scores, Ridgeline's going to be forced to kind of open up the offense a little bit. Havili. Fonga Havili's got a running lane. He's chopped down. He's got a first down, first and goal at the six-yard line after he picks up ten. I don't think Ridgeline has enough players on the field. And Ridgeline wants a timeout. Bonneville got the play and then hustled up to the line, trying to catch Ridgeline. And Ridgeline, I mean, they're, their defensive line is gassed. They've been on the field the whole second half. Let's see, 51 yards rushing for Bonneville in the second quarter. And 37, so they had 88 yards in the, or excuse me, I want to look at the third quarter to see, to see, you know, it seemed like they just owned that third quarter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, twenty plays in the third quarter for Bonneville offensively. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plays offensively for Ridgeline in that third quarter. In the fourth quarter, Ridgeline's had four, five, five plays, is that right, in the third quarter? And Bonneville's had three, six, seven, 13. So that, the defense from Ridgeline just has to be gassed. They've turned. They've turned Bonneville away time after time, but you can only give them so many chances, right? And the offense just hasn't been able to get anything going. They've turned it over a couple of times. Johnson, as they try to seal the edge and they push him back inside, he's right there, let's see. He's short of the goal line. Second and goal at the one. And they quickly get up and push forward. Touchdown, Bonneville, and they take the lead. Ridgeline's going to have about four minutes to try to answer. Bonneville's going to go for two, I would imagine. And I would just run the ball with Johnson again. And I wouldn't run anything tricky. I would just, I just run that ISO right up in that A and B gap. But uh, I am 0 for 0 as a head coach at the high school level. So, so be careful what I tell you. <laughs> the two-point conversion. Johnson looking to throw. He's got a man underneath, and it goes off his hands. So 0 for on the conversions for Bonneville, but the damage is done. The Lakers lead 12-7 against a Ridgeline offense that hasn't been able to get anything going since the first quarter. 4.06 to play. You're watching the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. Aspen Dental is one of our game sponsors. Their goal is for you to feel completely comfortable in their office. Come on in. Find out what personalized dentistry means. That's the good folks at Aspen Dental. Let's not forget about Anderson Seed and Garden. If you're wondering when the right time it is to harvest any of your crops or to put them in the ground or to do whatever, you got some pests that are bothering your garden, well, come on into Anderson Seed and Garden. Mark knows the perfect time to put those seeds in the ground to harvest them and what to treat them with. Or visit their website, andersonseedandgarden.com. Tons of videos and pictures and helpful tips. And you can order all of your gardening supplies online too. That's Anderson Seed and Garden. One final mention for a sponsor, Rich's Cars and Credits. You get financing from your credit union without having to go to your credit union. You go to Rich's Cars and Credit. Let them take care of that for you. You get credit union rates right there on the lot. Drive away with the car you're looking for. Rich's Cars and Credit. Short kick. 
as it's a race to the football and it goes out of bounds. Ridgeline will get to start up at about the 35 yard line. They need a touchdown. The quarterback Jackson Olson that's playing his, well he's getting his first varsity start. He's had varsity time. The last time we saw him, he was coming on in relief of Caden Cox who broke his leg in a playoff game against Skyview in a wet, nasty playoff game against an undefeated Skyview team that went on to win the state title. So this is a good refiner's fire and a good adversity point for Ridgeline to see what they can do. They're gonna hand it off on first down. White bounces to the outside. He's gotta turn it up eventually, he never does. He races for the sideline and gains no yardage. White, the sophomore running back. A lot of underclassmen on this Ridgeline offense. We got freshmen, we got sophomores, we got juniors, a lot of them touching the football. Four-man rush, Olsen swings it out too, too long for White. Intended for JT White. Third and 10. Third down has been nice to Bonneville, not so nice for, to Ridgeline. Two of eight on third down for Ridgeline. With 3.26 to go in the ball game, Ridgeline trailing at home by 12. The defending state champs. Olson looking for some room. Somehow finds some. Has to tuck it and turn the corner. Reaches for the stick. And they're going to say he stepped out of bounds clear back at the 42 yard line. He was up to where he was reaching for the stick. And they're going to say, now nah, you're back at the 42. So he picks up six. 126 yards rushing for Olsen. 84 yards passing, but two plays he'd like to have back. An interception and a fumble. Fourth and a long three. Everybody in tight. Olsen's gonna keep it. Slips outside. Picks up the first down and he's pushed out of bounds at the 47. And he picks up five. Everybody was in tight. And Olsen fakes the give inside and hits the edge. And he's one block away from cruising down the sideline. Carson Cox is a junior. Graham Livingston is in there. He's a he's a freshman. Bovey's a junior. And timeout Ridgeline. McFarland's a senior along with Olson. Again, we have some black Nike Easton Dalkey is one of those returning seniors. Alice is one of those returning seniors, 55 and 53. We talked about Easton Hammond, the, the freshman. Two minutes, 38 seconds left in the ball game. A lot of underclassmen on this Ridgeline team. <laughs> There'll be some growing pains for him. Again, and then you got Levi Painter, who's another one of those returners. He's a junior, but you know, again, if you're a Ridgeline fan, you can't expect what they had last year. You had a four-year starting quarterback back, and they were loaded everywhere. They just want to put themselves in a the situation where they're able to compete come playoff time. And with the new RPI system, everybody goes to the playoffs. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Olsen against the four-man rush over the middle, tip falls incomplete. Graham Livingston, the freshman. He's caught a couple of passes. 
He got two catches for 13 yards, does Livingston. But Ridgeline used to go up top so much last year. They had receivers that they could really go downfield and uncork the big play whenever. And tonight we've seen Ridgeline's been very methodical and kept everything close to the line of scrimmage. Just like this, great grab. Man, that was a good grab by Knight. Are they going to say it was incomplete? Man, he had it in his hand. Wow. Must have dropped it when he hit the ground. So instead of third and four, it's third and ten. With 2.28 to play in the ball game. Olsen uncorks one, nothing doing. The defense is right there. And again, everything short and underneath. Seth Bowie, the reception. I mean, I know Olsen's got the arm to go downfield. And I don't think, I mean, you've got to go for it. You're not getting the ball back if you give it to Bonneville here. Bonneville defensively has thrown a lot of different stuff at Ridgeline. Four-man rush. Now they're going to uncork one. McFarvin waiting for it. A lot of hand fighting, no flag. And Bonneville will take over on downs. And Bonneville tested for the first time downfield. And passing that test. 2.16 to play. And Bonneville looking for that week one upset. Coach Cox, 22 and two the past two years. And Richline not used to losing football games. And they're about to go down at home. Still 2.16 to play. Crazy things happen in football. First and 10 at the 46 yard line. Here's Johnson. It would be fitting for him to put this game away for the Lakers as he picks up 11. He gets up a little bit slow. He's got 154 yards rushing. Two hundred and six yards rushing for Bonneville. And he's got another eight yards. So now it's 214 yards rushing for Bonneville. And he's got 162 of it, plus 139 passing. Hundred and seventy-five yards rushing for Ridgeline and eighty-four through the air, hundred and thirty-one yards rushing for Olson, but he had those two turnovers. And both of them led to scores. Well, I'm I'm sure he'll be thinking about that after the game and he'll think about two plays of all those plays. And I'm sure Coach Cox will remind him, this is game one of what could be a 12-game season. You know, a, it's going to be at least a 10-game season. It could be a 14-game season, right, if they go all the way through the playoffs. I say 12, I'm living in the past. This is a, these teams now play, play 10, uh, 10 games in regular season. 
Johnson's going to go off tackle. They do a good job sealing, and he picks up yardage. Oh, is he short of the first down? Man, he looked like he had it. Went down short of the sticks. Picked up a couple. Bonneville's done such a good job of opening running lanes for Johnson. He's done a good job of making tacklers miss. And that Ridgeline defense has just got to be gassed. The offense hasn't been able to stay on the field. Third and one. Third and a chance to put the ball game away. Johnson is hit right at the line of scrimmage. He le leans out with the ball just like Olsen did earlier. And they don't give him any love either, just like they didn't give Olsen any earlier. <laughs> it's fourth and one. Ridgeline's out of timeouts. Bonneville doesn't have to snap the ball again. The Lakers have come in to Millville and they've defeated the defending 4A state champs. 12 to seven, the quarterback goodness. duel, but on the ground, won by Jackson Johnson. The USU commit Jackson Olson had a pretty good game rushing, but turned the ball over a couple of times. Ridgeline will go back to the drawing board. And next week, they're gonna be at Stansbury. We hope you enjoyed the Game of the Week on the Valley Channel. We're with you all season long. Join us next time for the Game of the Week. The Game of the Week on the Valley Channel is brought to you by Wendy's of Cache Valley. It's way better than fast food. It's Wendy's. Cache Valley Hearing and Audiology. Bring back what you have been missing. Palmer Home Furnishings. Our low overhead means higher quality at lower prices. Aspen Dental. Get that gorgeous smile you've always wanted. Custom Fence Company. Privacy, security, peace of mind. Riches, cars, and credit. Good guys you can trust. Anderson Seed and Garden. Growing better gardeners. The Logo Shop. We logo stuff. All kinds of stuff. KSM means music. Music is all we do. Factory Pizzeria. We're open late after the game. And the Valley Channel. Cash Valley's TV station for over 30 years.